Yeah, it doesn't happen too often that we have a big house like this in the city center. Uh, good morning. I'm here at the entrance of Sukhumvitsoy 13 and the reason that I'm here is because I want to show you a house that I have to film today and this is the perfect example on how you can find a quiet living space in the center of Bangkok. People who know Bangkok know that this is one of the busiest parts of the city but just a few hundred meters down the road here there is a very nice house so uh, let me bring you there. This is just a short walk from the school. This is quite a unique project. It's not easy to find a big house like this in the city center. So this house is 300 square meters. As you can see, a lot of space. There are three plus one bedrooms upstairs. So you have three bedrooms and an office. Here you have the maids quarters, which uh, you can basically use as storage. Yeah, so for example, they have this teak wood bed in here, but this can be removed. They have these kind of pumps here. They are just pumping water all the time because when there is a lot of rain, it could get flooded, but uh, the pumps keep the house dry. Here is a little extra room. It can be used as a studio or for work. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often that we have a big house like this in the city center. The rental price for this place is 140,000 baht per month. We have the kitchen area. Yeah, all the furniture has been redone, so this is all teak wood, so it's very traditional old style and uh, they put the new material on so let me bring you upstairs here you have the guest bathroom This patio, of course, is perfect for uh, having barbecues or having dinner outside. Yeah, so this is the office space. Unfortunately, this uh, door cannot open, so you don't have access to the balcony. Three bedrooms here. All the floors are wood and the whole house has been painted recently. Somebody lived here for four years so they completely 
freshened up everything. Here we have the master. Yeah, so what I mentioned, these beds can be removed. They're all traditional tea furniture. Back up here. Here you have the carport. Yeah, what I mentioned, this is perfect. If, uh, if you have kids at NIST and you want a big space, this is uh, literally around the corner. So uh, I will show you actually how to get to NIST from here. So from here it's only a few hundred meters towards the main Sukhumvit road and it's a few hundred meters towards the NIST school as well. I wanted to do this stretch lifetime. I'm not speeding up just to uh, show you how close it is with a bicycle, but it's uh, basically walkable. The school is right here. So this is the new construction, but the whole complex is right around the corner here. There's a whole new construction going on here at the NIST school, so I might uh, have to do another update regarding that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update regarding this house here in Sukhumvit, sorry, 13, and especially the connection that it has with the NIST school. If you're interested in real estate in Bangkok, if you're moving to Bangkok, uh, feel free to connect with us. You can send me an email at info at sukhumvithomes.com. If you enjoyed this update, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line, and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...